So, this time, it's my Anglo-Saxons versus the Scots. Um, my opponent's using elves to represent the Scots here. Um, and we're playing defend the homeland. And unfortunately, the Scots end up as the defenders. And with all the defensive abilities, I knew this was going to be hard work. So, once again, I spend my four points all on warriors and separate them up into an 11, 11, uh, 10. And, it works. and my warlord's just behind that middle unit there. And my opponent Scots, he's got two units of warriors, and uh, one levy, and a hearth guard, uh, not a hearth guard, his warlord hiding behind the church there. So, with my first turn, I build up loads of saga abilities and go charging into the um, uh, warriors, Scots warriors, in the building there. And even with my abilities and my opponent having none, it was a 3 for 3. Ah, great start. And in my opponent's turn, his levy take a pot shot at my warriors on the left hand side. Uh, these levy become the bane of these warriors, the poor blokes. Um, always having pot shots at them and seem to get one or two, if not more. So, uh, without with me having no shooting, his wall was free to roam around at the back there to give support where it's needed. So, at the end of the turn, uh, we're looking a bit like that. And then in my turn, I move my warlord up with the warrior unit, um, the free free moves, and then spent all my saga dice on the unit that was to the left of them. And with the abilities, I run up there and charge the levy, getting ready to wipe him out. But unfortunately, um, do absolutely nothing. Uh, I think he paid his ability where he got either extra defense dice or reducing my attacks for each um, dice roll above his armor value. Uh, so yeah, I went in, did absolutely nothing, but on the plus side, he didn't do anything to me either. So we're looking something like that at the end of my turn. Uh, again, the Scots freely plod his warlord up beside the church there, getting ready to charge my warriors. And again, here's Poxy Levy, pick up another one, reducing my guys below 10 models, since there goes all my magical abilities, unless I pay for it. And the end of the turn looks something like this, with me pretty much gaining nothing at all. And we're already into a turn, start of turn three. Great. In my turn, I roll absolutely terribly. I think I roll all axes or something, because um, I don't do a lot. I think I just put some sh defensive shooting abilities. Uh, I've moved my warlord up and his unit. Um, I'd like to point out I spent him on defensive shooting abilities, by the way. Okay, and that ended my turn. So yes, with my shooting defense abilities, I lose three. I think I was at plus one armor. Um, I might have even had two uh, uh, two extra defense dice, and he got three. Six shots, kills three. Yeah. And at the end of turn three, it's looking something like this. So this is the start of uh, turn four. Um. The first thing I do is I move my warlord and his warriors up to charge the house. And after combat, I managed to reduce my opponent down to two with, I think, I've got one guy knocked over there. Only one loss to myself, so pretty good going so far. And then use my Saga abilities to send my next guy in, uh, the other unit of warriors, to try and finish them off. Which I do! Oh, thank God. Turn four, and I've managed to clear one house. <laughs> Not going great, eh? So I just move into the house, and that then finishes my go. And of course, in my opponent's turn, he manages to shoot another guy off. Uh, these boys really have enough of this. And then to be followed up to be charged by my opponent's warlord, who kills one off and takes no damage himself. And that leaves that turn looking something like that. And start of turn five. So I rush his warlord, wipe him out, um, using my warlord and the uh, warriors with him. And I throw my warriors against the levy again, just trying to do a few more casualties. Um, I might have done one or two, uh, I can't remember this turn, uh, but he definitely gave one to me. And on the other side I desperately run out the other house to try and take on the other Scots, um, just to try and cause some casualties for the last turn. So the final turn looks something like this. Um, yeah, 
it's not going to be an easy one unless I get lots of multiple charges on. It all depends on my first charge, where I send my warlord and my warriors into the levy. And yes, probably best not to ask. I think that levy pretty much won the game for him. Um, I did, I did maybe one or two casualties again. Oh, well, that's no, I did one casualty. That's right. He used his ability where he rolls the dice per model. If he beats his armor value, um, I lose an attack from all the units in combat. See. I charged my warrior and my warlord in because I thought I was going to lose four or five attacks, um, and I lost seven attacks from all the units, which meant my two saga ability, which I played on my warriors, was the only thing I had. So I had two attacks, my warlord and my warriors, and I killed one. And in return, he killed one, two, three, four there. So yes, went really well. And at that, I shook his hand, and that was the game for me. No, oh, that was a hell of a game. Oh man, I think the Scots' defensive abilities really come to town in that scenario. Um, there was nothing I could do. In a six point game, I think he could hold off with the three points quite happily. Um, but I'll have to try that later on. I'll have a bigger game. Let's see if I can get him to get some proper Scots. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until the next time, uh, Sal Willis. Uh, please subscribe and like the video. Uh, it keeps me doing more keeps you motivated and I know there's people out there actually watching it. So take care everyone. That works.